Now, speaking of the faith and dealing with, with it in music and coming to those realizations, mm -hmm. um, Kanye West, who we both work with, mm -hmm. um, has, has a new album called Jesus is King. Okay. I've had very intense spiritual conversations with Kanye years ago mm -hmm. um, before he arrived at his Jesus moment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Jesus for me was a great album. Mm -hmm. um, but Kanye is now in this space where he said, he just made an announcement where he said, I'm not doing secular music anymore. Um, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> what, <laughs> what I do know is you went on a glow in the dark tour. I did. So I want to know if you have any fantastic glow in the dark stories that you could share. For I us. do. You know, it's interesting. Kanye West is such an interesting talking point because um, his, his, his insane genius yeah. has always been there. Mm -hmm. I mean, from the glow in the dark tour, like that was my first touring experience. Mm -hmm. um, before I even had an album out, I was invited on that tour and I was on a hip hop tour. It was, we did some dates with The Roots, Wale was on that tour, Mr. Hudson was on that tour, mm -hmm. Kid Cudi was on that tour and I was the only R&B artist on that tour. And Kanye West, like straight up, is just one of my favorite artists of all time. Yeah, for a um, lot of us. For a, for a lot of us. I mean, his he musically he's just given us so much. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was. It was a great honor to be a part of that. I was a true fan. And watching him night after night, that genius um, mentality of like, oh no, like I know what I'm seeing for myself, and I'm going to make sure that it gets delivered that way mm -hmm. was there. I remember him starting. Um, uh, the I'm not loving you the way I wanted to. 808s and Heartbreak is the love lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. This is when he was just getting ready to release because after Glow in the Dark was 808s and Heartbreak. Right. And he was transitioning into that sound and he was featuring right. Love Lockdown at the end of every show. And he debuted that song, from what I understand, on SNL, like the week he made it. Maybe. Yeah, that think, sounds like a Kanye thing yeah, to I do. think he just <laughs> made it and then he was like, yo, I, this is the one I'm performing on SNL. And then what I heard was, there was no 808s in Heartbreak album. Mm. He debuted that song on SNL. He enjoyed the response he got from mm. it. And he said, I'm going to do a whole album like this. Mm. Well, he did that song. Mm -hmm. And I just remember one night he was starting it and like he didn't catch the beat right away. Mm -hmm. And like something wasn't working right. So he started, he, he must have started it like six times. Yeah, that was the tour where he was like cursing out all the light men and stuff. And right? it was, he was, it was like <laughs> he, he created like a spaceship and like an alien. Yeah. Like it was like a whole thing. And I just remember. The first thing, when I first met Kanye, the first thing that he said to me was, nice shoes. Because <laughs> I was wearing these Christian Louboutin, right. like, girl. Your feet. The, look, it, took, it had nine straps. It was Take six, it was six inches tall, and it needed three people to put on every night of tour. Mm -mm. Now, mind you, I'm But a, you look good. I look good, you though. Did, and that, That's I not old Billy Crystal. I looked good. And I still have those shoes. I will never you wear them marvelous. again. Listen. You take an ibuprofen right before the night starts, and that's, then you that's ridiculous. I'll never do that's that terrible. again. That was a that was a young girl decision. Mm -hmm. Like as a as a veteran in heels now, I will wear sneakers. What size, <laughs> that's you, what size eight. do you wear? Eight. Oh man, I'm in an eight and a half eight. nine. I was about to squeeze my little feet. <laughs> no shoe, but I tell you, the first thing he noticed was was nice shoes. He mm -hmm. said nice shoes, and I was like, this is a very Kanye West thing to do because he was into fashion. He's always been into fashion. Mm -hmm. And I remember he watched my show one night. He came by and he watched, finally watched it side stage. And he came out and he was just like, yo, you're really dope live. And that was a huge compliment. Because I think one thing that I do pride myself on is not being scared on stage. Mm -hmm. People see me and they think, oh, she sings love songs, but I'm ugly on stage. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to leave it all out there, mm -hmm. which I love. And I want people to have an experience because I sing from that place. But the thing that he said to me, which has rung so true to who Kanye West has shown himself to be, is he says, never be afraid to do what it takes to have people remember you. Oh man. And he said that to me, and I have it on video, I think it's on my YouTube channel actually. He's like, never be afraid to give something people to remember you. And I remember being like, you have done that your entire career. Word. He has. And that's authentic Kanye. And like, and I, and I remember that and I always, the thing that I always, like I said, pride myself on is the element of surprise. And I'll never forget I have a story with Prince where I was doing, uh, Deborah Lee used to do a, a pre-dinner every year for the BET Awards. I and DJed that party. Were you there that year? I did, yeah, Prince was there. Prince was there, Janelle, and I yep. performed that year. I, I, I got a story about that party. Oh, and my friend dances for Janelle. Oh, mm -hmm. I, love, I love Jane. Janelle's great. She's great, and so. Prince came up to me and he was like, I was playing um, whatever hot hip hop record was like, and Prince came up to me, I swear to God, he said, I did not put on this outfit to be cursed at all night by rappers. <laughs> And so then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play Shaka Khan records, right? Because Prince loves Shaka Khan. <laughs> 
So I play like I feel for you, and I'm playing it as a DJ. I'm mixing it in the mix. I think the record was like a certain beat. It was like a hundred. I played at a hundred or two to mix it. He comes up to me. He was like, "It doesn't go like that." Oh my! You're playing it too fast. <laughs> and what did you say? I was like, "Yes, no. sir. Yes, sir. Play <laughs> right. What do you want? Whatever you right, want." Right. Exactly. But the purple one. Yes. Yeah, so I remember they put me at the table because of the performance that mm. performers that year were sitting at the head table, mm. and I remember I sat down, and there were these two seats ahead, of, like right across from me, and I, you know, everyone had already been seated. It was like, who's gonna sit here? Mm. And then Prince floated in. Mm. Uh, of course he, he did. just it levitated float. inside yeah. and sat right across from me. And I promise you. I've been around many famous people. As mm -hmm. for sure, first when you know when you're coming up, you just meet people. Mm -hmm. I have never felt more nervous, of mm -hmm. course, in it's my nice. life. And I remember, and I don't get nervous before I perform. And then they were like, "Okay, Melanie, you got to go backstage to perform." And I was like, "Prince, is, he's out there. Right. Like what?" And I remember just thinking, and I don't even think I did that great that night. Like I was, I probably mm -hmm. was so nervous that I wasn't my best. But when I got back to the table, he stood up, reached across the table, shook my hand, and he said. <gasps> I had no idea. Oh, mm. that's amazing. And I cherish that moment. Mm. You because should. he will come up that's beautiful. he will come up to you and tell you your BPMs are off. That's right. So he didn't have a Virgo. He did not that's <laughs> right. the Virgos don't miss they anything. They do not play. That's right. But he 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 said that and I cherish that because if he was really like, I'm not fucking with you, he'd just been like Right. He'd have just no, been he like, I don't me. see you across the table. <laughs> Prince told me which songs of mine he liked. He told me which songs of mine he didn't like. Uh -huh. I told him, Jared, you'll find this hilarious. I said, Prince, you should do a song with me. He said, ain't you signed to Warner Brothers? Oh, oh, shit. He was like, let me know when you get off of Warner Brothers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> protecting your energy at all times. That's Since right. Virgos don't play. Get it, call me young, go get it. Can't fuck with it, my slow, no way.